help to develop understanding and respect among masters and followers of the lineage so that everyone in the lineage will come together in unison with a one-pointed focus and dedication to benefit all beings and second for supporting other spiritual groups who share the same benevolent motivation Drukpa Vietnam and its 100 volunteers also came early to decorate the entire Druk Amitabha mountain in preparation for the first ADC. Yang Bei Lopin and senior monks from the monastic body of Bhutan arrived before the ADC to prepare the Chakra Samvara Drukpa. The energetic activities on Druk Amitabha mountain a few weeks before the first ADC began, set the momentum for the successful programs ahead. Between the 5th and the 8th of April, the former Yang Bei Lopin led the senior monks from the monastic body of Bhutan in the Chakra Samvara Drukpa, a ceremony of developing spiritual accomplishments according to the Drukpa traditions. This ritual showcased an ancient Drukpa tradition whereby the prayers cleared the obstacles and paid homage to the main tutelary deity of the lineage. The chanting of the Chakra Samvara Drukpa provided the ideal soundtrack for such an extraordinary meeting. The Drukpa officially concluded on the 8th of April 2009, the public opening day for the ADC. From Bhutan, India, Tibet and Nepal, more than 1,000 monks and nuns of the Drukpa lineage came together to support this first ever ADC. On the night before the Drukpa lineage masters arrived on Druk Amitabha mountain, the narrow assembly hall was still undergoing its final completion. There were more than 300 local construction workers working around the clock and over 200 monks and nuns helping out with the decoration of the hall. It was very touching to see a few thousand people on Druk Amitabha mountain, all with the one-pointed focus of ensuring the success of the first ADC. The few kitchens available on site were constantly busy preparing food and snacks for those on the mountain and the nuns had been getting less than two hours sleep a day. There were also volunteers coming from all over the world actively involved in group discussions, preparations and executions of their own duties. Some of them had been setting up modern technology under very challenging circumstances so that the first ADC could be broadcast live to the homes of those who were unable to make it to Druk Amitabha mountain in person. The Drukpa lineage masters arrived in Druk Amitabha mountain and met together for formal discussions and meetings on the 6th and 7th of April 2009, the first two days of the ADC. We thank all the masters for taking their precious time to attend this event. While the workers, volunteers, nuns and monks put finishing touches on the narrow assembly hall and throughout Druk Amitabha mountain, 
the precious masters of the Drukpa lineage met to discuss the past and continuing contributions of the Drukpa lineage and encourage each other with their humanitarian and spiritual endeavors. From the 8th to the 15th of April 2009, the programs, rich with teachings, cultural performances and group practices, were open to the registrants and the general public. हमारे माची हो तुम पूज्य दलाई लामा जी नमो 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 हर नमो नमो हर नमो 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 Excitement filled the atmosphere. Hundreds of participants hiked, motorbiked and scaled the side of Druk Amitabha mountain to reach their destination in hope of greeting the precious masters, receiving blessings from the Chakra Samvara Drukpa and get a peek at all the preparations. The diversity of gender, nationality and background of the participants was not only strikingly colourful, but was also a testament of the universal appeal of the annual Drukpa Council. This congregation of the Enlightened Ones also witnessed the enthronement of two very important Drukpa masters, the ninth Kyabgon Drukpa Yongzin Rinpoche, the long-awaited reincarnation of Gyalwa Lorepa, 
who had been absent for more than 700 years since his first incarnation as one of the two foremost disciples of the first Gyalwang Drukpa, Sangpa Gyare. Prior to the closing ceremonies, His Holiness, the Gyalwang Drukpa, surprised the participants by enthroning a female tulku, Chozang Lamo. After the enthronement, His Holiness shared some words with the participants, saying that a reincarnate tulku may return in any form, so certainly a female tulku is possible. In a previous interview during the ADC, His Holiness expressed his sadness over the loss of female lineage holders and the Bhikshuni tradition. When journalists asked His Holiness if he was attempting to modernize religion, His Holiness responded that he is not modernizing religion but reviving its ancient traditions. Originally, female and male practitioners were considered equal but during modern times, this had changed. Therefore, His Holiness is reviving old traditions for modern times, rather than modernizing religion. A public display of the holy relics of the lineage masters also took place during this event. There were five holy objects displayed. First of all, a relic belonging to Nagarjuna, which was passed to Naropa. Secondly, the heart of the fourth Gyalwang Drukpa, Kunkien Pema Karpo, with an image of the self-arising Chakra Samvara in union. Thirdly, the tooth of Marpa, with the self-arisen image of Throwo Mesek, a deity that protects from diseases caused by defilements. Fourthly, a fingernail of Marpa's consort, Dagmema, which has a self-arising conch appearing clearly on it. And lastly, a sculpture made by Milarepa's sister and blessed by Milarepa. It is believed that this sculpture looks exactly like Milarepa himself. Holy relics contain the power to liberate upon sight and, at the very least, provide great benedictions, merit and encouragement for one's spiritual endeavors. The viewing was further supplemented by a blessing from His Holiness, the Gyalwang Drukpa, Kyabje Drukpa Cheonggon Rinpoche Tenzin Chyoki Gyatso, Kyabje Gyalshan Tulku Rinpoche, Kyabje Ga Rinpoche, Kyabje Ga Lakang Rinpoche, Kyabje Kunga Rinpoche, and Kyabje Se Rinpoche. In addition to the auspicious nature of this event, the participants were also able to have a glimpse of the rich treasures, both in terms of relics and masters, that the Drukpa lineage holds. Indeed, the first ADC has left many who attended it with great memories of meeting enlightened masters, receiving their teachings and blessings, and making spiritual connections with our Drukpa family members from all over the world. The second ADC, to be held again in Druk Amitabha Mountain between the 6th and 15th of April 2010, with the 9th Kyabje Kamtrul Rinpoche Jigme Pema Nienche as the chairperson and Jetsunma Tenzin Palmo as the deputy chairperson, will be another landmark event of the Drukpa lineage, instilling more understanding, respect, love and harmony within the lineage and sharing more of the wisdom and compassion of the lineage masters with the rest of the world. Several precious masters of the Drukpa lineage did not manage to participate in the first ADC. Some did not manage to get their visas some had health problems and some had teaching programs already arranged a long time ago.
We hope the Masters who did not manage to join us this time for the first ADC will join us in the future ADCs as we need their encouragement and blessings for the benefit of the Drukpa lineage and all the beings. See you at the second ADC. You're welcome to watch the many hours of video footages documenting the full programs of the first ADC. The First Annual Drukpa Council Like the lotus that emerges pristine from the murkiest depths, thus the first ever annual Drukpa Council springs forth bringing hope and liberation in a world weary with war, economic uncertainty and unprecedented pollution. After Buddha Shakyamuni's Parinirvana, his passing away from this world, countless schools of Buddhism flowered. Among them was the 800-year-old Drukpa lineage or Dragon Order, that has had a continuous lineage of masters who have mindfully postponed their own passage to nirvana by becoming reincarnated again in order to help others find compassion and wisdom. The reincarnations of these masters are spread throughout Bhutan, Sikkim, Tibet, Ladakh, Lahore, Kino and Nepal as well as other parts of the world. His Holiness the Gyalwang Drukpa shares with us his wish for the annual Drukpa Council or ADC. Uh, ADC is actually, you know, uh, annual Drukpa Council. Actually, what I really uh, uh, was hoping and thinking and dreaming uh, outcome of this is uh, to uh, unite uh, all the masters of Drupa lineage and uh, all the masters means the masters who are enlightened uh, through the practice of this lineage because the majority of the masters uh, and the majority of the uh,